Good morning. I hope you're doing well. We are back in low turn. We're back with Miss Medrill, who is currently looking for a mailbox. Ah, there it is. Because she has presents to send to Marcelin. Marcelin is uh, woefully behind in her gear, so Miss Medrill went ahead and made her a couple of earrings, which she named Froth and Foam, and a pair of rings, which she named Port and Starboard. <laughs> Very fitting for Miss Marcelin, right? So we're going to go ahead and send those off to Marcelin. Uh, do I need to send her any gold too? No, I don't think so. I think she's doing good in that department. As you can see, Miss Medrill also spent a little time cleaning out her bags. They don't look nearly as horrendous as they did. Now we can go talk to Halberd and continue on with our own journey. And thank you to Gus for helping me out with some weapons for Miss Marcelin. And she now has a better sword and dagger. So that's always good. Yay. I have bad news. We have found Agathorn. He is dead. Okay, so that's not good. Our our our, our friend has died. The one we didn't meet. One of the scouts of the Ukluth found Ergathorn's body this morning. One of the scouts of the Ukluth found his body this morning, hidden behind a fall of rocks on the southern edge of the Coombe. I think he was ambushed from hiding, as Wadu was. Though it was strange, he was not slain by sword, arrow, or bolt. He was killed by hand. The life choked out of him. For now, his body is being kept in the Hall of Making to the northeast. We should examine Ergathorn's body to see if we can learn anything more of his fate. Okay, so we need to exer examine the body, and as a reward, we're going to get a Gondorian Knights and Stars Tapestry. Huh, okay. And we need to go in here, it's because the Hall of Making is the Crafting Hall. I don't know why they used the Crafting Hall for this particular. And, um... Looks like Ergothorn was Gondorian, judging by the gear. He could have been Rohirrim, but I'm thinking Gondorian. It is as Halbara described. The man is wearing armor of Gondor and has no sword wounds on his body, but he is dead. You notice a scrap of parchment clutched in one hand, which you pry loose and read. To the rangers. The dwarf has already told your foe much, and I fear that it will be enough to endanger not just your errand, but the delicate situation in Dunland as well. Things are not as he thought they were, but they soon will be. He has been slowed by his uncertainty concerning the errand of your company, but not stopped. They who swore the oath to Isildur at Eret, you know of them and of their home beneath the Dwimmerberg. But you do not know that some number of them sought to flee their curse and came to hide in a place called the Forsaken Road, among the Lich Bluffs. If they could be made to fulfill their oath to your chieftain's forebear, all might not be lost. Not all remember the old ways, but I do. For Ithel that was lost, and for all else that was forgotten, I remain. Ergothorn. So, into the end... He was trying to help. Well, that's kind of sad. All right, um, Albert. I, I come bearing news. He was unable to deliver that letter in life. He has done so in death. He must have been coming to leave us that letter, Medril. He was unable to deliver it in life, but has done so in death. I know not who set upon him in the wilderness, far from safety. But I believe it is the foe of which he speaks, or an agent of that enemy. I believe now that Ergothorn's enemy is our enemy as well. But now, at last it becomes clear. Whoever killed Ergothorn can move stealthily and strike without warning, but chooses to use neither sword nor bow. If this mysterious foe can move about without the knowledge of his prey, he may have overheard our conversation. If he, too, speaks with Nor, that could be the source of the dwarf's information, but twist it into a form unbeknownst to Nor himself. 
And it all comes back to the Oath Breakers. Is Ergothorn right? Could they be compelled to fulfill their oath? If we can learn that this is possible within the Forsaken Road, that will be a great boon for Aragorn. Speak to Radnir at our campsite in the Grove of Trees east of Lanark. Tell him that I want this investigated. All right, so we need to head out back to the campsite. And the campsite is that way. Yeah, sounds like a, a good potential ally was cut down. An honorable man of Gondor. Um, Radonair, dear, I need to speak with you. Halberon's wishes are my own as well. Halberd's wishes are my own as well. We will walk the Forsaken Road and see what lies within. You must learn if Aragorn can compel the Oathbreakers to fulfill their oath. If Urgothorn is right, a number of Oathbreakers fled from the Dw Dwimmerberg after Isildur cursed them and left Gondor. They traveled through the trackless wilderness, seeking to escape the curse, and came at last to the Lich Bluffs. Did they find what they sought, or did they come to realize there was no escaping their curse? I do not know. But if we can find the Forsaken Road, where this group finally remained, we may learn something to our advantage. We may learn if Aragorn can compel them to fulfill their oath. I have spoken with Rod, the scout who found Urgothorn's body. He knows where the entrance to the Forsaken Road is, and will show us the way. Talk to me when you are ready, and I will assemble a group of rangers to investigate. Alright, so it says it's meant for fellowship, but you'll get a boost if you don't have one. Which is good, because, obviously, um, yeah, I, I guess we could have that work join our fellowship, but I don't think he will. Let's go, Radnir. ready to depart for the Forsaken Road? Yes, Radnir, I am ready to depart. Many of my brethren have volunteered to come with us. They are eager to find some information that will aid Aragorn, especially to see if there is some secret by which he can compel the Oathbreakers to fulfill their oath. We have come to walk the Forsaken Road. But a group of Oathbreakers sought to escape their curse. Is it possible that Aragorn might compel them to fulfill their oath? We seek to learn if it is so. Okay. Hello, Radnir. This is an evil place, Madril. And the dread of it lies like a cloud upon my limbs. And so cold. I, I should think I would never be warm again. This is a place of the dead. Kept by them throughout the long years. Will they rally to Aragorn's cause? We must learn if it is be so. Walk at Red Near along the Forsaken Road. Stay alert. We do not know what we will find along the Forsaken Road. The men we seek must labor still under Isidul's curse. What ceaseless toil their cowardice has given them. Hold, there's a presence here. Where? Show yourself. Who dares disturb this place? Who dares venture where only the dead may walk? The living may not pass. This road is not for you. Turn back. Turn back while you still have the power to do so. Stay on your guard. Only the dead may walk this forsaken road. Come, my brothers, come see these wayward children. Who dares disturb the restless dead? I dare. And what is that to us? Why should the dead care who you are? Why? Because my chieftain is the heir of him to who you took your oath. Stand to your guard, Medril. These men are without honor. We are here to listen to their words, but we must remain cautious. Do you acknowledge the right of Isildur's heir to hold you to your oath? You have not been judged worthy of speaking, weak child. If you can defeat me, 
Perhaps Bridget will listen to your claim. Is everyone all right? You see now our strength? We are not to be trifled with, Manir. Ha <laughs> ha, you cannot defeat me. And he comes after me every single time, that's funny. Have you had enough, Manir? Your honor is gone, and only my chieftain can return it to you. That remains to be seen, warm blood. You stinker? You knocked me out. Well, that didn't last long. The Dunedain and their allies will not be cowed by the likes of you, Oathbreaker. I desist, Dunedain. For now. You fight passing well for a child. Brittal will want to speak with you. Brittal always wants to speak with those who brave this road. Keep the chasm on your right, and you will find him. Find and talk to Brittal. Come, my brothers. It is not our time. And they all disappear. We will explore this side of the chasm, Metro. You must go on ahead and search the other side of the great rift in the earth for Brutal, he whom Manir spoke. Okay, so keep the chasm on your right. On this baby chasm, deceptively covered by fog. Yeah, that's a big chasm. Let's look down. <laughs> oh wow, check that out. I was like, I guess those must be individual tombs carved way into the walls there. Alright, so we continue on into here. And I see a banner here. And a cursed portal. Okay. You the same one? It was unwise of you to come here, warm blood. This place belongs to the dead who do not rest, and all your kind who stray here perish. Talk to Candace. Where's Candace? Ah, you came to this place to escape your curse, Bertal, and you brought these men with you. But there was no escape, and you will never know the peace of death until you fulfill your promise. I will consider what you have to say. This seems to me a good sign, Medriel. If the Oathbreakers will fulfill their oath to Isildur, we will command an army the like of which has never been seen in Middle-earth. Surely, victory will not be far behind. Defend Candace from the Oathbreakers, he must not be defeated. Oh! You stinkers! How's Candace doing? Oh, Candace doing fine. <laughs> Witness the strength of the Dunedain and their allies. Yes, I am filled with fear of you. Perhaps these others will do. He keeps trying to target the one that's not fighting us instead of all the ones that are. Okay. For two, enough of this. We need prove nothing to you. I think you do.
We did not come here to entertain your careless whims, Oathbreaker. And yet you do so most admirably. Come, my kin, slay them. End this, Brutal. I command you to end this. I need not listen to your commands, warm blood. Hold! I have the authority to command you and all your kind, Bratel. For I, I am the heir of Isildur. What evidence do you have that this be so? Only this, the ring of Barra here, heirloom of Isildur's line. I see. We will fill our oath at last that the heir may lift the curse. Tell your men. But that is not the ring of Barra here, and you are not the heir of Isildur. If you are brave, betrayed, you must escape. No! Ah! Oh no, we have to leave Kande behind. Oh, guess what? <laughs> ah. That's bad. That's bad. That's very, very bad. They killed Candy. Can they? What has happened? All of a sudden, the Oathbreakers fell upon us, and we have only driven them off for the moment. We have to get out of here. Where's Candy? I have not yet seen him. Stop. We have. We have to wait for Candy. He's not come this way. You are correct. We must get out of here. Hurry. Before it is too late for us. Well, that stinks. I forgot that was where Candace dies. One of my favorite rangers. And he's dead. We knew there would be hardship on our road, but to happen so soon. We knew there would be hardship on our road, Medriel, but I did not think. I did not think it would happen so soon. Go to Coronir and tell him we are done with Sudragund and done with Nar. I want Coronir to come back from Sudragund. It is time we made ready to leave once again, and I want every ranger ready to depart. We have lost too many of our number to be to foolish detours. Enough. Go to Sudragund and tell Coronir that it is done. We ride at first light. I do not care what Nor may know, or of what air. Ergothorn was afraid. I thought we could attain some secret, some new wisdom that would be of use to Aragorn when we come at last to him in Rohan, but I was wrong. There is no secret weapon, no easy victory. Go to Kornir and tell him we are done with Zodragon and done with Nor. Okay. Yeah, he's kind of angry too, isn't he? Although, well, to be fair, after what happened, I guess that makes a whole lot of sense. More of that. Oh, what am I doing? Okay, I have a handy part there. We might not need much longer. Where's Peak? Well, that took a while. That was some lag. <sighs> I still remember the first time we meet Candy. It's at the foot of Weathertop. And he's been injured. 
Yeah, he helped us retake Weathertop. I will follow Halberard's orders, but I will not leave until I have some answers. I must follow Halberard's orders, but I will not leave until I have some answers. After the disaster of the Forsaken Road, I strode through the coombe and collected the ingredients for the strange-smelling brew. Kibble Luz, Nijum Maju, and Holo Bruz. Frithgear did not want to, but at the end I gave him no choice, and he has brewed the drink and given it to Nor. Hurry, go now to Norn and ask him, once again, how he knows of the Oathbreakers. Ask him how he knows the words of Elrond concerning the past of the dead. Ask him why my friends are dead. Go, Medriel. We will leave Zedragon, but first I want to know why all of this had to happen. He's pretty, uh, stubborn. Nar, have you drunk the brew? How did you know Elrond's words? I did not know the words of Elrond were a secret. My friend knew of them. I did not know the words of Elrond were a secret. My friend knew of them and spoke at length concerning the futility of traversing the paths of the dead. Nor breathes deeply the strange smelling brew. He smells quizzically at you. He sees much that perhaps should have remained hidden. It's true. But when he speaks of a thing, I confess it seems foolhardy to disagree or debate with him on it. He has a curious way about him, this friend I met in the mines. I thought it strange to see him there, but he said Herloff brought him down. Norse brows creases and thought, but that's odd. Herloff went south, south to Ziggle Jabal and hasn't been here for years. I wonder when he let my friend into the mines. He can't have. Who did you meet in the mines? Why, Saruman the White, of course. I thought you knew. Nor looks at you with amusement. Clearly, he thinks you have said something funny. Why, Soramon the White, of course. I thought you knew. Nor does not seem to notice your shocked expression. He has long been a friend of my family, of course. He is the very wisest of the wise, it is said, and I agree. Nor finally seems to notice your shocked expression. And as you hastily explain Soramon's treachery, Nor waves his hand impatiently. There must have been some mistake. Sormon has always been a friend to the dwarves, and through the long years he has told us a great deal, deal that would otherwise remain hidden. The wizard has not betrayed us. There must have been some mistake. You seem to think I have done something wrong, but I can tell you I certainly have not. How can it be? What did you tell him? He was very interested in the rangers, of course. He was very interested in the rangers, of course, and in the Dunlandings who live nearby. He wanted any maps of cave systems and dwarf mines I could bring him from the library. He said he was trying to protect the Dunlandings from a massive gathering of orcs, and so he was. You saw the group that attacked us here, but Nor, did he say anything about Ergothorn? He never spoke of anyone called Ergothorn to me. He never spoke of anyone called Ergothorn to me. He did speak occasionally of someone doing his work in the lands of Inundwe, Dunland, and Rohan. But whether he was talking about the same person, or more than one, was never clear to me. It is not the place of this dwarf to question a wizard. I see. The distant expression that Nora usually wears has been replaced with a shrewd glare. He is still under the effect of the strange-smelling brew, but that clarity may not last long. And he's pissed off at the uh, questions we've been asking. I cannot believe this. We have played right into Saruman's hands. I cannot believe this. The traitor Saruman has been influencing our errand without our knowledge, and we have played right into his hands. This stage of our journey, this investigation into the mystery posed by Nor, is over. Halbert is right. The next stage of our journey will take us south into Dunland, likely towards war and danger, right beneath the shadow of our enemy. But it does not matter. What matters is that we journey. For good or ill, the Grey Company will continue on its road. This detour means our enemy knows we are coming. We must hope he does not know why. But if he does, perhaps that knowledge will cause him to make a mistake, to make some error he will regret. Our friends have perished, 
Our hope for the future must not die with them. The Gray Company will ride again, and soon. You will come with us if you still wish to. I would not blame you for changing your mind, for the road will be hard. All right, so what do we got? Anything good? Maybe? Maybe. I'll look at that later. It is true. We don't know what we will find as we ride south. I look out over these lone lands and wonder what will happen to them when we have gone. But this is something we must do. Each of us has sworn an oath to Aragorn our chieftain, and none of us will break that oath. We know the risks. None of us would join the Grey Company if we felt its errand was not important enough to brave those risks. For my part, I will not give in to fear of the unknown. We all have our role to play, and I hope only that when I have played mine, the world will have been better for my having been in it. The final words of Candace. Well then, that's done. Sounds like we head out. Where is he? We have delayed too long already. I am ready to go. We have delayed too long already. I am ready to go, Metril. Return to Halvorad and Lunak, and we will decide how best to proceed south into Dunland. We will leave this place behind, and none too soon. If we had left earlier, we could have left with Candace and my fallen brothers, and not without them. And that is where we will leave off. Next time we will talk to Halvard and Lunak, and we will figure out what path we will take into Dunland. But until then, bye for now.